Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these gorgeous six-pointed stars. These are great for the holidays or adding to any present you are giving. You can also use any yarn at all, any gorgeous metallic or any shade of yarn that you prefer. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there beside you. For this tutorial, I am using a four worsted weight acrylic. This is favorite from Ice Yarns, but you can use any yarn you have at all. I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook. If you are using a DK weight yarn, you'll want to use a four millimeter crochet hook. Basically one size smaller than what you would normally be using with that yarn. You'll also need a needle for sewing in your tail or making your hanging tag, and a stitch marker also helps and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So we're going to start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do, shrinking that down and popping it onto your hook. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain we made to form a ring right down here that stitch right on top of our knot. So just slide your hook in and get yourself situated. So we want to have a U shape underneath our hook and we want our tail to be following along. So get that little U shape with your tail along with your work and slip stitch to form a ring. Now hold it open with your finger and thumb and chain four. One, two, three, and four. So this counts as our first treble crochet. Wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into the center of the ring. One double crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and make one treble crochet right into the center of your ring, taking care to be working over your tail. And chain three. One, two, and three into the center of our ring, going over our tail, one treble crochet, so wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet, and one double crochet, and a treble crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, Wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet into the center of the ring. One. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet. And wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet into the center of the ring. Chain three. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet still going over your tail. We're going to go around, around our tail or over our tail the whole way through. One double crochet and one treble crochet all into the center of that ring. Chain three. One, two, and three. Now grab your starting chain and the ring and your last stitches and just slide those stitches back to give yourself some more room. We have to do six sets of our treble double treble. So into the center of our ring, another set, so one treble crochet, one double crochet, and one treble crochet, all into the center of the ring going over our tail. So now we have five sets, one, two, three, four, and five. So slide your stitches back again if you need some more space. We want all of our stitches nice and flat in the center of our ring. Chain three, one, two, three. Wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet. One double crochet and our last treble crochet. Chain three. One, two, and three. 
Now into the top of that chain four, that top chain, we're going to slip stitch to join. So just pop your hook in to the top of the chain four, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Into that very same place, that very same stitch right there, we're going to go in and make one single crochet to the very same stitch. Now into the next stitch, we have to pick up that front loop, it's a little bit lower, and pick up the back loop, so that is our next stitch right there. One single crochet. And into the next stitch, one more single crochet. Into the space, three single crochets. One, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three. So now we're going to turn this into a pico. This is optional. If you don't want to make a pico, you can just keep going with the pattern. If you want it to be extra pointy, this is how we make these little picots. So look for your pretty little V's of your chain and just put that to the side. We want to be looking for these camel bumps or these back loops. So starting underneath the working yarn, our first one, there's two, and here's three. We want to look for that number three and go right into that stitch. So pop your hook into that third back loop from your hook and just make a slip stitch. So there is your pico and now three single crochets. One, two, and three. Into our stitches, we're going to do one single crochet into each. And our very first stitch is hiding right underneath our work. So you have to kind of pull your stitches back and look for this very first stitch. So there is one, two, and three. Into the space, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, and three. And now make a pico, so slide your chain to the side. And we want to look for that very first back loop right there. The one from our very first chain. Just slide your hook into that back loop, just poke it on, and slip stitch. So there is our pico and three single crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. One single crochet into each stitch. First one is right where we're working. Let's have to look underneath our stitches. So there is one, two, and three. And now into the space, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your chain a little to the side. We want to look for that very first back loop, that very first camel bump from our first chain right there. So just pop your hook in. You can slide it on with your finger and slip stitch. There is our pico, and three more single crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. Not one single crochet into each of these stitches. Remembering that that first stitch can be a little bit hiding underneath our work. One, two, and three, and into our chain space, three single crochets, one, two, and three, and chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your chain to the side, and just look for that very first back loop, and slip stitch, just slide that back loop onto your hook, and slip stitch. That's our pico. 
and three more single crochets into that same space to finish it off. Two and three. So we're going to keep doing that for all of these sets of three stitches. So single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three, and into the space, three single crochets, chain three pico, and three single crochets. So one, two, three single crochets, chain three, one, two, and three. Turn that chain to the side, looking for that first back loop we made, that first little camel bump, and slip stitch to make your pico. and three single crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches, making sure you get into that first one. One, two, and three. And into our space, three single crochets, chain three pico, and three single crochets. There's two, here's three, chain three, one, two, and three. Roll that work to the side. We wanna look for that very first back loop, that first camel bump, and slip stitch to make your pico. And three more single crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now we are right back to where we started. Go ahead and cut your yarn. You wanna leave about a 10 or 12 inch tail. We haven't joined or anything, just right after that single crochet. So pull your hook up and your yarn through that very last single crochet that we made. Grab your needle and thread your yarn. Now into our second stitch. So here's our first stitch, so not there. We wanna go into our second stitch, our second single crochet. Just slide the blunt end of your needle in underneath that stitch, the same place you'd be putting your crochet hook. Just slide your needle through. And keep track of where it's coming from, coming from this stitch, so keep an eye on where it's coming from. Don't cinch it down too hard. You wanna leave it a bit loose. And now take your needle again, the blunt side, and just put it right back where it came from, just underneath that one loop. And now shrink it down just so it matches your other stitches. Just like that. Now turn it over and we want to just give us this an anchor. So coming from where it's starting from, just work straight through those stitches, just into that space a little bit. That's why a sharp tip needle is really great. I have these linked down below if you want to grab yourself some. And pull this through. Now we don't want to pull it tight. We just want to anchor it. We don't want to make that any smaller because we have it looking just perfect on that one side, on the edge. So no pulling it too tight. And now go back into a different piece of yarn in the opposite direction, just to give ourselves a little anchor. Just like that. Now if we pull our yarn, that stitch doesn't get any smaller. We've anchored our yarn. Now we're ready to do our hanging tag. So on the back of your work, just thread that yarn up, out through the top of that pico, the very pointiest bit. All the way up. And now back down into a little bit of a different spot. We don't wanna go exactly where we started, but just put it down underneath a thick part of your yarn on the opposite side, just like that. Pull it down through. And now we can make it any size we want. We can change the size of our loop and you can use a business card or a piece of cardboard just to make sure all of your hanging tags are the same uh, height, the same length. And we don't wanna crush 
the tip of our star. So when you're happy with that, just go and sew in this tail. So sew it back up in that opposite direction and back down. Just like that. And now we can cut our tail. And you can also cut the tail from your center if you have worked over that. And there is your super cute six-pointed star. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.